Okay, Rob, we'll close out with this stuff here. Uh, something I was kind of making note. I was like, kind of you look to see what happened on this day in history, like, you know, when it comes to like when the podcast drops. So we drop every Monday at 4 20 p.m. Hi, right, guys. So if you want the episode, go premiere. to premiere. A premiere. That's when well, it drops. We'll drop early on premiere, but every Monday at 4 20 p.m. We drop on podcast feed, all podcast feed, and we'll drop on rvdtv.com too. So check them out there. And uh, yeah, so, so, but so on this day in history, which will be March 11th, it'll be on Monday, but on March 10th, 1993 is when Dino Bravo got killed uh, and his mafia ties that he had. Um, he was found shot dead home while watching hockey in Vermont, Lavelle, Quebec. He was shot 17 times, it says, seven in the head and 10 in the torso. Though there are allegations that he's involved in a cigarette smuggling ring, it was never officially proven. Rick Martell, a fellow Canadian wrestler and friend of Bresciano, which is Dino Bravo's real name, believe his popularity in Montreal area had upset some members of the mafia. Bresciano, a nephew of the Montreal crime boss, Vic Catroni, by marriage, may have been linked to Catroni's organization in the days prior to his death. Bresciano confided in the friends that he knew his death was imminent, like it was coming. And Bresciano's murder had never been officially solved. Rob, were you kind of fascinated by that aspect, being a Mafia fan, and then obviously this Dino Bravo, a notable wrestler? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, dude, for sure. Um, and, and, you know, I like Dino Bravo even as a fan. When he's, I remember him setting the uh, bench press record. Um, the world bench press record was like 705 pounds or maybe 712. Both of those sound right. I saw a guy with my own eyes bench um, – over 900 pounds recently in front of me. And I, and I went back, I went back and I, I remember when the world record, I, I said that to him afterwards. This was at the, this was at the Mr. Olympia. I don't know if I've ever even put that video on yet on my YouTube page, but I have the footage. I think I still have to edit that. Damn it. Doing it. Doing it this week. So many plates. Uh, 910, I think, or 908. But anyway, he was a fan afterwards. Like, can I get a picture? I'm like, Bro, what the? Do you, I said, do you remember when the world record when the D, Dino Bravo did like just over seven? And he was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, Shh. he's just you know fanboy and you know look at the. Can we do another one? And uh, anyway, that was impressive as shit. And uh, that was a big part of my fandom. The years that I grew up watching it, Jesse Ventura only helped two pounds worth when he pulled on the bar because he's got <laughs> expert expert fingers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, I had to go back and visit that one time when I was like, wait a minute, I'm like totally fascinated by all the mafia history. Dino Bravo got killed by the mafia. I need to go back and like really dive into that and, and see what, you know, how that relates to the, the world that I know now. And so, so yeah, I did that, you know, and Dino, it appears he was actually working for them, you know, and it makes sense, you know, that someone like that, there's so many stories, a guy, especially big guys like that. When, when they're in neighborhoods where everyone's mafia, a lot of times those guys end up, you know, just going and collecting debts for them mm -hmm. you know, because one of the main businesses that uh, the mobsters do is, uh, is putting their money out on the streets and they charge a VIG and, you know, 3%, 5% a week, whatever, Put a thousand dollars out there, and if someone has to pay you back two hundred dollars a week every single week until they give you the full original thousand dollars back, you can make a lot of money with that. Um, but how do you get them to pay you? And you need people like Dino Bravo to go shake them down, you know, and hey, don't make me come after you. You every Friday, you need to be there paying them your fucking big. And, and uh, Dino did that for a while. Um, his uncle was Victor uh, Catroni, who was the boss of the of the Montreal uh, Mafia. Um, yeah. The the ownership went back and forth from the Rizzutos um, to him, and they're related as well, the Catroni and the Rizzutos. And uh, the Rizzutos, you know, they, they worked with the American Mafia, um, with the Bonanos, um, and so they're a lot more known in our history than the Catronis. But up there, man, that was the boss, and it seems like... Uh, it seems like Dino got into a little bit of trouble from what I understand. Um, 
there was a, a warehouse full of um, untaxed uh, c- cigarettes, and uh, he was uh, trying to make some money on the side, middlemanning a deal, and and his, and the pickup didn't happen in time, and the product stayed in the warehouse a little too long. So when the pickup was there, the cops were already there, and everyone got busted. And I also heard maybe a little cocaine got introduced into the into the whole equation. And you know he was. He was, I think it's fair to say he was an associate and he was doing some, some uh, mafia work. And then uh, boom, after that bust, man, they must have just figured that he could bring everybody down because that's what they do. Anybody that has information, they seem to whack them out so that they don't get in trouble. They hire you to go do a job uh, and you do it either because you're hired or out of respect, out of your, your commitment and love and patronage to the family, everything, and you, and, and you do it, the job, and then and then if someone gets busted, then boom, they cut the line off right there, and they, you got to die just so that they don't get in trouble. For, I mean, it's it's that's 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 how they operate. Just like with uh, a lot of people know the movie Goodfellas. Everyone gets whacked there because of the bank heist. Everyone that had any information, Frank Burke, who Robert De Niro plays uh, Jimmy Conway that's based on – Fred Burke and um, he whacked everybody that had any knowledge of it so that he wouldn't get told on. And it's just like, it's just, you know, it's such a a God complex in perspective to have everyone's lives in your hands like that. And to figure that wiping their lives out is worth saving yours or just extending it for a little bit. And then sometimes you end up going to prison anyway. And then do they regret it? Do they, do they feel like, well, yeah, I guess I didn't have to kill those 13 <laughs> people anyway. It didn't even do any good. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah. So yes. Uh, Dino Bravo, man. I saw him live lots of times. So I'm at the Kellogg center uh, wrestling. Uh, and um, he was part of, WWE right then when I was like, man, I want to wrestle. And I was going to every show that I could. Yeah. Oh, man. What a dude, too. He was only 44 when he got killed. And um, on top of that, too, uh, yeah, he claimed that it was 715 pounds was the record. So, so okay. Okay. That, yeah. That's at least what I read on, on the internet. So take that for what you will, guys. Um, his but- aunt was married to Victor Catroni. Yeah, because it was his uncle-in-law, apparently, is what they, they were saying. But, man, holy smokes. I know they did a Dark Side of the Ring on him. I got to watch that. Uh, I think that would be pretty fascinating. Yeah, it's good. 